The key to what we're doing, the key to what you can do, the key to you really taking your business to that next level is not you doing everything, but hiring people that are smarter to you or smarter than you to do it for you. Right. That's the key. And what I'm going to share with you and here on this is essential. And one of the reasons why it's really essential is because what's really important to an investor when you're starting out? Your time. Now, you see, at the end of the day, you want to make more, but you don't want to work harder. And what you want to do is figure out how to partner, how to leverage. This is what we're going to go into here. Because there's no way I could create, send out 4,000 yell letters with the intentions of sending out 16,000 yell letters and then have a happy quality of life. <laughs> <laughs> Without, <laughs> right. you know, exactly. We're going to talk about that. Right. Now, on the 100-foot view, some of our favorite sites that we used to use before we brought our own staffs together are outsourcing sites like Elance, Rental Coder, exactly. Guru.com, Odesk, Get a Freelancer, and 99 Designs. Now, the reason why we've used these sites and we've decided that these are the good ones for you guys to start out with is because of the safety mechanism in them that won't allow you to get hurt. Exactly, because you have to put fail safes in because what you're doing, you're entering into a new environment and you don't necessarily understand the politics, the way things go in here. What this here will do, they have things that can guard to set you up so that you don't spend too much and so that make sure that when you do spend, you've approved for the work. After you understand how this here goes through, then you can venture up on your own and create your own team. Now, let's talk about some of the teams that you can create from these sites. 99 Designs is a site that if you're looking to get design work done. Now, what does 99 Design do? And this is the beauty with this outsourcing site. It's the fact that you put in a project, I want a new logo design, and I want to pay $100 for that logo design. What happens next is the people in 99 Designs will start designing your logo show it to you, and you don't have to pay them until you approve the one you like. Exactly. So you'll get 60, 70, 80 versions of your logo design that you don't have to pay until you approve the one you like. Now, let me share with you how I use uh, Elance. Elance is really great because I use that to hire virtually anything. Uh, for for uh, someone to maybe make calls for me, for someone to do database, for someone to receive calls, for someone to even do transcription work. The good thing about when you're using Elance and Odesk, you actually take tests. You can actually figure out like how well do they speak English, uh, how well do they understand uh, English, how well are they able to write, how well are they able to articulate this. So that's your grading mechanism to let you know what you are hiring. So you can base your information off of a test that they've already taken that way you know you're hiring the right person for your job. In fact, Elance and, Go and, Go and um, Odesk will tell you this person speaks English fluently. Exactly. This person's English level is this high. This person's English level is this high. It will also show you samples of works that they've done so you can see how proficient they are. It will also not allow you to pay all the people up front unless you determine that's what you want to do. It has built-in systems in it where you can say, for the job that I want, I want somebody to do some data mining on Craigslist and give me all the email addresses. I'm willing to pay $20 for one week work for work. But I'm only willing to pay $10 up front and the other $10 when it's done. You can do that with Elon's, and it won't release the funds unless you approve the work. At the end of the day, if the person is doing great work, don't you want to pay him? Because right. you want him to come back, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. So that's the benefit in there. That is a situation of an exchange where both parties are meeting together, getting what they're looking for before they uh, do business. Rent a coder. I use rent a coder when I first started out with marketing and stuff to make the software. <laughs> to make the software that I used when I designed software for my company. A couple pieces of software I designed is 
Um, uh, it was something called a Craigslist Spider, where I created software that I hired somebody from Rent a Coder that would go into Craigslist, scrape out all the ads based on keywords, put them into an Excel spreadsheet, and then send them to me. The software cost me $175 to make. I hired somebody off of Rent a Coder to do that. I had software created um, to go into the SDAT. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. My SDAT software would go into SDAT, take out all the different properties, put it into an Excel spreadsheet based on loan to value and the tax records, and allow me to start marketing to them. That software cost me $395 huh. to have so designed. Are so y'all familiar <laughs> with vacant uh, violation notices? I used Rental Coder so that way you know when you follow you go to baltimorehousing.org and you can find a zip code and you can find homes that have violations in that zip code. Then you can in turn take those violations addresses, put them into SDAT and find the actual owner. Then you can take the actual owner's name and put it in yellowpages.com and then find a number. The whole process, I had someone from Rinnacle to create it, so all I had to do was just put in an address, and a few seconds later, I got a name and number. Now, how much time did that save you when you want to do a calling campaign? Because your highest return is going to be on phone calls. Then I took that information and then gave it to somebody from Elance with a very strong American English accent to determine the phone calls. So do you follow how this whole system over here works? And that's mind-blowing. Yes. <laughs> that's mind-blowing. Absolutely, I agree. Let's talk about it. why you should work with an outsourcer. If you can do it yourself, I'm sorry, if you can't do it yourself, outsource it. Make sure that your focus is on your primary business. Your focus should not be on how to design a website. Your focus should not be on on how to upload an image. Your focus should be on talking to sellers to close deals. Right. Marketing the sellers to get leads. What That's you what do, your focus should be on. What you want to do is you want to, whatever your niche is that you, that you do really well, the way to improve the sales in your business is to spend more time doing the things that matter most. The things that, when you look at your business and you lay it out, you will say, hey, if I increase, how much time do you actually spend in sales? How much time do you actually spend selling your product? If you look at your overall business, it's very minimal. Now, if you can increase that time, then you can increase your sales. And that's a direct one-to-one -one ratio. All the other stuff that's sitting in there that needs to be done, that's what you outsource. My business model, all I do, as you can tell, is talk all day long. <laughs> I don't pick up a hammer. I don't pick up a ruler. All I do is close, close, close. A, B, C. Always be closing. That's all I do. My team does all the rest of the work and specifically, specifically start, runs and start off with my project manager who's right here in the United States. And we can go into further details on how you put together your team. Yeah, exactly. What I'm being able to express as well, what I mainly do is I figure out what it is. Now, understand this part right here. So one of my things or my unique niches or trades is how do I work well with other people? How do I create systems? That's what I do, and I create systems. So one thing I do is I take what I do in a day and write it completely out. Then I find what do I like the most that I enjoy to do, and I do that. And then I outsource the rest. That's really it. At the end of the day, I outsource the majority of what it is I do. When I was beginning getting into real estate and I wanted to make a lot of money, I started working hard. And then when I found out, I started working harder but making even less money. Right. I was working harder. And I remember the title company used to see me, the one down on uh, Charles Street, they used uh -huh. to see me literally like, Jim at least, Jim exactly, Jim they see me like once, twice every month. And all of a sudden, he didn't see me for three months. He said, what happened? I said, I, I thought I was, was spending more money, but I was making less. But I was working harder doing all the things that don't close deals. At the end of the day, my trade and my skill is closing deals. That's all I need to do. I need to leverage for others who are better at other areas. Because that way, you can split up profit that you would have otherwise missed. You follow me this right here? You don't want to get 
of a very small amount. I would much rather take 50% of a much larger amount and keep your quality of life. That's the key. Believe me when this right here, you either learn it now or you learn it 10 years from now. Trust me, this is the key. Yes. Oh, good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the question is, can you pay on commission basis? The answer is, hell no. <laughs> no. Well, I no. Pay, I could pay by the job. You can pay by the job. Yes, you could pay by the hour, but they're not going to work on a commission when the third oh. party, Elance, gets a percentage. Elance ain't going to wait for their percentage. Google.com ain't going to wait for that percentage. Right. Now, if you want to hire them off of those sites, you can do that. And we're going to show you how you can right. do that as well. Because that's how we've created our companies, hiring the good ones off of these sites and bringing them into our company. And then you can start introducing the commission. One key that's so really important is that you have to have your crap together when you want to bring somebody on. Yeah, no, we don't really record it. This is a family show. Crack? Crack. Oh, I thought you said crack. No, no. I'm trying to say crap instead of say okay. shit. So I figured well, I said you got to have your crack to give them. Oh, boy, what are you trick me? Oh, I've been hanged. Leave that out. So what I wanted to say is just right here. Before they show and trick me into using the wrong acronym. What I wanted to say is this. Yo, please, just work with me. Okay? Yeah, it's like the whole ass out of class. That's how I think you buffed up so much. Yeah. Oh, no, man. I'm just joking, KG. Go no, that's ahead. okay. You'll pay later. <laughs> oh, that slipped out. Look what happened by accident. Ooh. Okay, so we... <laughs> Okay, so basically what I'm saying is this way here. <laughs> when you want to hire a team, you have to have your stuff together. The reason why, because you're expecting them to leave a company like Elance and come work for you. Unless you understand business and business systems and have a way out, a, a plan to succeed, they won't leave you. They won't, want to, they won't leave what they're already sure they're going to work with you. They want to know that they're going to make more money with you over the long term. They don't want to know this is a hobby. They don't want to know you're just trying this out. They don't want to know that you're like one toe in and one toe out. They want to know at the end of the day, hey, you're pretty serious about this stuff and you're going to succeed. Then they'll buy into you. And that's the key. Once again, it goes back to perception is reality. Exactly. It goes right back to that one point. Okay. When do you outsource? When these two questions come, an absolute yes. Do I currently have a skill set to complete the task I need done? Yes. <laughs> and can someone else do the task cheaper than I can do it myself? How yes. much is your time worth? Yes, exactly. How much is your time worth? Remember, at the end of the day, your time. This is another crucial concept to, to understand. At the end of the day, some people, we all have 24 hours in a day. Some people that an hour is worth $10, some people an hour is worth 10000 And guess who determines how much it's worth? Yeah. One more time? Yeah. Exactly. How much do you charge for an hour of consulting? $250 per hour. My charge is $262 an hour. Why? Yeah. Because I wanted to make sure I was higher than him. I'm going to say, that's when you get the 50% of people. <laughs> And just to kind of share with you yeah. the value and that the key is this right here. Do I charge $250 an hour? Yes. But at the end of the day, my goal is to bring you more value right. to that hour than what I took from you in cash. Right. We had a real deal meeting and talking about using this right here and to show you the power we have in the group, offered a free 30-minute consultant to the first 10 people that uh, texted me to complete. <laughs> One gentleman called on that 30 minute consultant and expressed that he had a hard time getting a deal. And how could I help him get a deal? At the end of that 30 minute consultant, I in turn partnered him up with a good friend of mine, Everson. He's going to make $60,000 after that 30 minute consultant. Everson, how much are you looking to make off the deal? Uh, 15 to 21K. 15, now I ask you, was that $250 well spent if somebody had to spend that? Yeah. Oh, I spend everything myself. So at the end of the day, your goal is to always bring more value right. than what you take. 
And in that day, no one won't mind spending because they're making more with you. In any situation, if you're not bringing value or improving somebody's life, you're wasting your time. And you will go out of business and deserve to. You must bring more value to the table every time. Exactly. Now, like we said, Odesk is real simple, guys. You just go to odesk.com. Once you go there, it just asks you what do you want to do. You want to search providers or you want to post a job. You just click post a job. And de give details to what that job you want posted to be. Whether you want somebody to do data mining, whether you want somebody to uh, create a logo for you, whether you want somebody to create a uh, high-end video for you, you'll find that all on these different sites. Yeah, one thing I'd just add again, write down, many times investors don't know what they do per day. Because many times you come from a job environment in which right. you were told what to do, and you go to investing and you say, hey, all right, so what do I do now? Because there's no one to tell you what to do. You have to write down what you do every day to make money. And right. then start taking stuff off your plate and hiring others or partnering people who do other parts. That's essential. If you don't know your business, who else will? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Question. Do you have to teach them how to going to If you have to teach them, you're hiring the wrong person. <laughs> because that's your description of your job. Here's what you need to do. And one of the strategies that I use when I'm hiring people, I give them a test. My test is, if I'm doing data mining and I want you to pull Craigslist ads, my test for you to be hired is to go in Craigslist and pull 15 ads, giving me email address, telephone number, and so on, and put it into an Excel, spree, Excel spreadsheet and send it to me. That's my test in order for me to hire you. If my test is for you to pull stuff off of uh, as that, I'm going to tell them what I want them to pull, and I'm giving them a certain amount of time to do it, and I'm going to hire the best ones to give them results for my task. Now, they don't have to do your tests because you're doing it for free. You're asking them to do this test for free. So don't make the test something, I want you to go on Craigslist tomorrow, and I want you to give me a hundred email addresses. And when you give me a hundred email addresses, boy, I want you to send it to me right now. That's my little Mikey. Oh, okay. yeah, but I like that word there. Why? You got to put him on a roller deck, yeah. man. That's pretty good. I like that word. <laughs> so you got to make it nice and simple, something that they can do. It's not going to require a lot of their time, but you still want to be you getting what you want. Uh, I'll just to add another part in there. One thing that I will do when you have a really good team, I will invest in my really good team. And one thing that I would do is I would let my team watch certain excerpts of this DVD and say, I need you to hone your skills. Now, you, when you put money into people who already know what they're doing, you're getting a return on your money. Because no need to serve outsource. So like for my team, for example, things they do on the calls, I said, let me express to you how we want to do lease options here in Maryland. And I literally sat down and talked with him for an hour. He had a working knowledge where he already understood it. The very next call, he was, and I can hear the call, we'll talk about that later on. Right. He got the guy sold on a lease option. <laughs> That's value right there. And when you put value in your team, they put value back in you. Now, like Kenneth just said, part of what we do is train our people on a workflow. Once you train a workflow by way of video, you have it for anybody else you want to hire. So you create the video once, and you use the video for every new person you handle or working with in order to have them execute your workflow. And what we use to create the videos is Jing, again. So I use Jing to capture the page, but I also use Jing to make quick five-minute videos of instructions. And I tell the person exactly what I want done in that video. And here's an example how Kenneth and I use it. Yes. Okay. Now what I've just did right now is is capture a screen area. And what I want to do is tell my outsourcer what I want them to do. So I basically made Jing come up on my computer and now I'm going to record the <coughs> message. 
Holly, do me a favor. I need you to have uh, Joanne go ahead to this website right here. And once they get to this website on the screen, I want you to take out the word Philippines and make it this. Also, take out this image. Give me one of the images that we have in our folder on the desktop that's called Charles Images. So grab one of those images, images and take it out, as well as changing that actual name at the top. Um, also, could you please have her write an article on the exact same strategy we're talking about in regards to how you create your team? Um, do that for me. Um, let me know where we're at on that later on, later on. Talk to you later. <laughs> I was just thinking of stuff to say real quick. Uh, not later on, but later it didn't matter. Right. Now, all I'm going to do is just upload it. This is all part of Jing. This comes with it. And everything. I'm sorry, is it J as in? J I N G dot com. You make them up in the screen, Kat. No. Um, try Jane Techsmith. J I N G Techsmith. <laughs> no, actually, it's. actually it's, 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 yeah. Jing is actually on Jing. I think it's Jing Project. Jing you got Project it? Dot org, right? Yeah. There you go. Project okay. Dot org. Yeah. I'll post it on the site. It just said there was a problem uploading, so let me try it one more time. Because <clears throat> I wanted to really show you how easy this, this is. Yes. So, I mean, Ken, earlier Okay, so you said, how do you hire somebody when you want to be smarter than you? So the best because you know a working knowledge of how to do it. And everything, basically what I've done, is I break real estate down into steps. Basically from start to marketing to closing, closing, there's about seven or eight steps in there. From selling, to evaluating, to researching, to negotiating, to putting on the contract, to buyer marketing, to closing, there's about seven or so steps. In those steps right there, there's one thing that you do better than somebody else. You understand the concept of how to do the whole entire part. But the other part that you aren't doing that well is what you want to hire somebody else to do. Right. Now, let me go ahead this time because it's, it's, it's working now. Okay, great. So I'm pulling up the page. I'm creating the video by clicking on this, I, this icon that says capture video. I'm going to tell the actual outsourcer what to do. Holly, do me a favor. Let's delete this logo. Let's also change these images right here to the right. Change the name from page one success to uh, page success. And let's just do all of that. That's all. Stop. And then I'm going to upload it. And what it's going to do right now is going to give me a link that I can send to my outsourcer that they can watch the video and see exactly what needs to be done. And this is the free version. The free version will allow you to make up to five-minute videos. So they'll actually see the page that you had up. Yeah, exactly. same thing you did the page. You'll see you right here. Yeah. Right, so here's, here's the actual video I made that I'm sending as a link, mm -hmm. and this is what they see. And that's how I give instructions to, to, to specific micro tasks that need to be done. I tell them, I make creating a short video and tell them what to do. This is using the mic inside of your laptop. So whatever mic you have in your computer, if your computer has a built-in mic, that's what it's using. Yes. What about the training for the cold calling for the ones that have good English? What kind of training are you guys doing? When I'm training for cold calling, it all depends upon, first they're going to have already a working history, working knowledge of understanding from cold calling. I'm not starting out from ground zero. They're going to know, understand. What I'm going to fine tune is the message that I need them to do, whether they're cold calling 
for for sale by owner leads or they cold calling on a violation lead so that the way that when the person is experiencing our call that they feel it's a one-to-one -one, uh, relationship they don't like hey who is this what are you talking about right now not only that but i use scripts i give my outsourcer scripts to use when they're doing their cold calling i also use a system that we're going to show you the okay. scripts is actually what questions you ask and so on so right. they're getting actual training scripts to what questions to ask and so on yes The question is, what's the rate you would pay? The question is, the lowest you can get. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, otherwise you'll get uh -huh. what you pay no, for. No, 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 no. The answer to that question is, you got to pay for quality. Mm -hmm. When you get, when you, if you're using one of these systems here, um, like Odesk, they're going to give you the ratings of these people and how much they expect if you're paid by hour. If I'm paying somebody to do calls for me by hour, I'm paying between anywhere between three and five dollars. Normally, it's around three dollars I'm paying. For me, what I do, and this is only because I have the infrastructure built in, I pay my team of seven people six dollars per hour for the entire seven. But now, just do the math on that. If we're not talking cheap. But six dollars an hour for seven people. Right, but listen to this right here. This, <laughs> so you don't miss it. Okay, it's six thousand dollars for seven people. But hey, this is understand. No, the conversion rate doesn't have anything to do. Because you can't convert a dollar as a dollar. Right, right, right. <laughs> so this is the difference. They know I close deals. At the end of the day, for every deal I close, I give them two hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars per deal I close. So they're they part now. We all have the same buy. -in. So they don't mind taking this six dollars an hour for all of them because they know that in the day they are fired up and charged to close one to two deals every week. So the quest, the answer to the question is, it depends on your business exactly. that you have in place exactly. of how much you want to pay based on results right. plus commission exactly. or flat rate or whatever you choose as that dollar amount. No, I pay six out for the whole team, and I have a, a team that you wouldn't believe. But the only reason is because they know they going to. I'm going to close. Because they got a, he's got a commission based system in place where they're getting that right, and they give them a commission of the actual deal. Now, if I didn't give them any bonuses, believe me, they would leave. The whole team. So that means everybody wants. Yes, everybody wants to get two hundred and fifty to five hundred dollars. Per deal that could close. Is that for personal? Just for just the, team, team. the team. The team. The team. So the team may get $500 when this deal closed. They're like, okay, this is good. Let's get another one. So they hungry just like I am. You've got to understand. And they're in the Philippines. Yeah, it's the Philippines, not the U.S. Yeah. Now, when you're finding these people with experience, they're working for other investors probably as well as you. Not necessarily. So you the question is, when you find these people with experience, are they working with other investors? When you find them with experience, they've done work with other investors if you're talking about these sites and their assignment is over. Okay. Right. My, my question was, do these companies that you're going through to access these virtual assistants have some sort of contractual protection that your work products are not going to be regurgitated to other investors? Well, absolutely. Especially in your Well, market. absolutely. First of all, there's non-disclosure in the actual um, in the actual agreement that you you hire when you hire a person on one of these services. So, no. The chances of that person who you're hiring taking your work from the Philippines to another real estate investor. Oh, by the way, you know I got Kenneth work here. You could use his work. What it's going to be very slim to none. What do you think the other investors going to do when they realize that they're selling you their work? They're not going to trust and they want to work with them. Exactly. You know, they just, they just broke their trust. The ones I'm working with, we have such a loyalty bought, bought in. Matter of fact, you get on Skype a message when it was the birthday. The birthday came, I sent them $100. Christmas came, I sent them $100. We have such a bond, we send each other jokes and so forth to communicate. But they won't take anybody else's work if it's going to impact what I have. And I'll tell you exactly how our system is set up. My, my, my team gets one third of every dollar. My project manager pays my employees from the negotiated dollar amounts we say the salary should be. So every dollar that I make 
my team gets one third of that to do all my work. Now, what does that mean? What does that look like on paper? Like I told you guys earlier, I have a project manager, one project manager. I have three website developers. I have a classified post person. I have two software developers. The real estate agents don't count because that's commission. CPA guy don't count until we start using an attorney. Don't count. That's on um, uh, um, containment until I'm able to work with him. Title company don't count. But these are the main people in my outsourcing team. One, four, five, six, seven. Those are the main people, my virtual assistants. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's going through the exact system as a, you would hire a, a what you would call a independent contractor. The exact thing. I just pay them on PayPal and they take everything. And I'm, I use the exact same. My uh, people and some of y'all to know for like personal applications, they'll send me because I have. Uh, they do search engine optimization, uh, Facebook, fan page, LinkedIn. Twitter, and they'll send me suggestions to say, hey, these are what we want to put on your LinkedIn. Do you approve these right here? I'll look at these right here and say, okay, great. I'll approve these right here. And they'll send them out. And I'm just responding to the comments on there. Yeah, and, and if you guys go to the site, Page Web Success, we show all the samples of all the work we do. Facebook, everything. So you'll see all the different samples of everything. Um, Kenneth, talk yeah, this about the team. Is, this is my team. So what I'm stating is that in my team um, right here, I have a person that, like I said, I have seven people in my team that work exclusively for me and those that work with me. There's a person that when they call, I have multiple Skype numbers just to kind of give you a scenario how it works. Okay, so I have, I send out the marketing, send out yellow letters, okay? So yellow letters go out, then they'll turn, and it could be anything, right? The, the call fire number goes to a Skype number. The stack number then in turn goes to one of them. Then they come in, this person may answer it. The English speaking persons, and we have that file, right? We will be the ones answering it. The ones that aren't, that speak the best English, are going to be the ones that's doing the data mining. While that person is talking on the phone, they're looking up the property, figuring out the tax assessed value of the property, figuring out what Zillow and his estimates and so forth say uh, the comps are for the property, figuring out who the owner, they're going to estimate. So while this person on the phone is talking, say, oh, Miss so and so, hi. The other person's listening, hearing information, they communicate back on Skype. I get a message on my phone. In this day and age, if you can't take your business and carry it with you on your phone, I got it charged up, so just imagine this was a phone in here. If you can't carry it with your phone, <laughs> you're not in business. Everything I have, my whole communication is go with me. So they say, hey, Kenny, we got a hot lead, need you on here right, on my, right now. So I say, okay, great. They send me the whole file, the person's name, the number. They even get to me a recording of the actual message. This is it right here. Did we play it? Yes. Let's play it right now. Okay, here's the actual call. Yeah, you went from Hello? Yes, hi. Good morning. This is Rob Johnson. Uh, I just uh, we just missed a call from this number uh, a couple of uh, a couple of minutes ago. Um, is anyone interested in selling their house? Um, yes, I have some property. How do you know about that? <laughs> yeah, we uh, we got a missed call. Uh, just just uh, just uh, a couple of minutes ago. Um, I well, to tell you honestly, I, I'm with a group of real estate investors out of uh, Baltimore, Washington, and uh, Virginia. So we are a big group, and uh, what we do is we buy property in cold cash. Now, I, I would love to learn more about this property that you told me about. Do you mind uh, giving me the property address, please? Um, it's in Sparks, Maryland. It's on. So, um, yeah, and it's a, um, a lot of spaces on there. So now, this property, when it came in, the seller went at 210000 My VA talked it down to 120. A partner with an investor on a deal, and he got the deal down to one hundred and ten. 
Now, this is what I mean about systems management and so forth. So when I have 70 calls coming in a day, you can't handle 70 yeah. calls and enjoy a quality of life. You will go crazy. So what that means is that your, lim your marketing is limited to how many calls you can have. But I have this team right here of individuals getting up here every day, working 100% for my company, and anybody that I'm working with, and they're dealing with all the calls. So when this person gets the call right here, and they need to know the address, he's asking questions. Oh, so um, so tell me a little bit. He just sent a message to this person over here. Oh, okay. So tell me that address one more time again. Oh, okay. And now this person over here is sending the tax assessed value of the land. It's in the tax assessed value of the home. Oh, well, yeah, in our database. Oh, 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 oh I hear that. He's a thought. Thank you. You hear all this right here? This is coming from training. And now this number they called him back was a Maryland number. That person sound like they was overseas? The person has no idea right. at all that the person is overseas. They have no idea at all that it's not a Maryland, that it's a Skype line. And that whole conversation is recorded. Now in the evenings, what I'm doing, I'm sitting in front of my laptop, listening to all the calls that went through the day and sending the messages. Oh, great job on this. Oh, next time do this right here. Oh, great job on this right here. And so forth. And they're like, hey, Kenny, great, thanks. Oh, thanks, man, we're working hard. Thanks right here. So what I've had right here is a team that's silly working. All I just do is just send the leads through and it goes there and I critique. And then I partner with investors and we close the deals. Is that pretty mad you're using, Kenny? That was... Oh, I'm sorry. Was that a cold call? No, that wasn't a cold call. What that was was a person called from a marketing material we went out. Remember, and they missed the call. Now, I remember we got we talked about the marketing and the slide dial and all of that stuff. That's what we're talking. That's what we're doing. We're having the outsourcers go ahead and call people. We're having the outsourcers pull telephone numbers, pull leads, and so on. And then they're actually following up on them. So that's what they're doing. So this right here, this call came into my company, went through the, uh, the uh, line, they missed the call, and they called back. So what, somebody's on the phone, then somebody else has another phone, and sometimes, you know, you got three people answering phones because the calls are coming in, it, go, it misses and goes to voicemail. And I, and I see missed call. And I send them a message, hey, somebody get that missed call? And they call back, hey, and you heard the recording. Right there, oh, hey, so we missed that call right there. Hey, could you please tell us a little bit about how did you get, is it, oh, okay, and then coming and uh, talking to them on information. Right. Any okay. other questions? Do you have to how provide much? any, you know, to perform, let's say you have to increase your group from 7 to 10, do you have to provide hardware, any software to perform that work? Uh, We're going to go into the software. We got one coming up right now. We're going to go into, what I will add is that what I have is a manager over there as well. And my manager manages the team. And my manager has a second person in command. So when they when he leaves, I get the second. When I go and say how we look for the day, the manager is communicating with me. They will do group uh, Skype. What I pay for them, this is the team. I'm saying I'm paying this whole entire team six dollars and seventy-five cents per hour. Now it's the, all of them, the whole team combined, the whole team combined is getting paid. They work exclusively me getting paid six seventy-five per hour. Now when I close a deal. The whole team gets two hundred and fifty right. to five hundred dollars. Right. No, just for one. And the reason why they don't miss right here with me, and I'm, I'm gonna get you one. The reason why they don't miss right here with me is because they know the I close deal. They know I'm gonna right. follow through. They know at the end of the day I have a system in place. One thing that we many times we don't forget. Think about this: if you were gonna go to work for a job or a business, and you walked in, and the business looked unsecure. People think like it was falling off the, the wall. Mm -hmm. And they see you wouldn't want to stay there. When you have your own business, keep in mind, like you said, perception is reality. Mm -hmm. When you have your own business, what is your perception? When right. people want to come and they say, wow, this person, like, he got his stuff together. This person exactly. here has a system in place. You know what? I can see a future with this person right here. They're honest. They're ethical. They'll pay me their commission that will come through. They see the bigger picture. Exactly. Wow, he's giving me something for my birthday. He's, I, he told me his wife was sick. I said, hey, everybody okay? You got anything? Hey, when I, uh, remember when that storm hit? a while ago, hey, y'all okay, y'all need, how's the internet, how's the food over there, y'all all right? Mm -hmm. uh, we're a little bit, hey, will $50 help you out a little bit? Man, thanks. See, what I'm building is, like, man, Kenny, you are really cool. So mm -hmm. what I have is integrity right there. And you can't, you can't, no one can just come in there and just take that. There's a relationship that's built there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my, my, my project manager, I've had my project manager for two years. She manages every person on my team. She's been there for two years. She's in the United States. So it talked about it talked in regards to the actual volume in regards when we get to this. Kenneth, this is the system that Kenneth uses. Oh, first of all, get a couple questions answered. Okay, yeah, because this is 
Right. Okay. Yes. Was that, uh, was that pretty? May you used to record that call for every well, call that comes in. Yes, I use Call Fire to record it, and because okay. Call Fire ca records every call that comes in. Okay. When they make a call out from my Skype number, right. I have them to use Skype to record the call. Okay. Yes. What hours do you have them work? I have them, their time versus our time? I have them work from 9 in the morning to 7 at night. Wow. My time. Okay. So right. they completely rearrange that's, he, He's absolutely right, because my people in India do the same thing. It's based on my prime hours. Not based on the time there. Yes. Um, so I had a question about the bandit signs. Like, mm -hmm. do you guys use call uh, call fire for bandit signs? Because isn't that traceable? Call fire for bandit signs. Isn't it traceable? The answer is yes, it's traceable. But I don't do bandit signs anymore. Yeah, me neither. I got too many different marketing strategies. <laughs> I don't really need to do and then what do you guys use? Hey, guys, hold on, hold on. We're going to get one question at a time because she's over here right now. So we're going to have two conversations going at a time. Wait, what's your question? The Skype calls. What do you guys use Skype for? Skype call. Let me tell them what you, what you do to Skype for. I use Skype as a way to add an instant messaging, to send the recorded call that's taking place, to send images, and it comes to my phone. And for $2.99 a month, I get unlimited calls to in the U.S. for them to landline and mobile. Right. We'll try that Skype. Skype. So two and a month unlimited calls, and I also have a Skype manager's account. Right. So as a manager, I allocate minutes to those on my team. Which means when he calls, the people on his team calls out, it's from the United States number. And I get that recorded, and I get to see that. I'm watching every single thing. Now, I think somebody over here had a question. Yes. Um, what services do you use for your team? Is the first question. The second question is, you guys are talking about two different teams. Not, you yeah, we're going we're gonna to talk. We're going to tell you. We're going to show you two different systems, too. Yeah. Right. So you started with the project man because yours is all in one room, and yours sounds like they're made up of. Yeah, mine is all over the country, yeah. all over all over the world actually. So yes. What I did, and this is now I mm -hmm. do have other teams. Now the team that helped me with my uh, LinkedIn and Facebook marketing and that does my uh, uh, squeeze page and so forth, they're different. This is just my real estate team, and so I had them all working together. Tasks. Yeah, this yeah. is my real estate mm -hmm. team, and so basically the way I got them is I mean, Mitch, my strength is. Putting, creating win-win situations for people to get together. This person I actually met on one of those sites, and he was talking. and said, "Man, can you tell you really know your stuff?" Mm -hmm. I showed him a little bit about the history of things that I've done. I said, "Hey, man, you know, I'm always looking for entrepreneurs to help blow their business up. There's a way you think we can work together in the future." I showed him things that had set up. This is my first time. About six years ago, I created a calling center over in the Philippines, back when we were with uh, on Aspire. So this is my first time creating this right here. I've done these things before. Mm -hmm. before like I said, six years ago I did this. Yeah, and I can say I went back as 10 years ago with Win Win Property Solutions. We had buyers all around the country. We had a guy in uh, California who was doing our short sales here in Baltimore. We had a guy over in, uh, I want to say, Detroit that was doing the actual negotiations for the code enforcement violations. Right. So, so what I'm saying is that I had this, people right. in the Philippines doing this, an actual office is what I'm saying. I had them right. coming into an office to work, reporting to me, getting paid every two weeks based upon the, the results of their efforts. Nope. Because at the end of the day, what people get when they're working with me is they understand there's a future. They say they're not buying into just this one minute thing. They're buying into right. longevity. They know at the end of the day that the way he's telling them, I, mean, I sit there and I interview them. When he brings somebody else in, I say, hey, I need to meet that person, talk to him on the phone. The guy comes up and says, hey, so I'm saying you want to say I'm a real estate investor. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Gills, I really want to work hard for your team. So tell me a little bit about what do you understand? Have you been on any webinars? Do you need any additional training? I'm very serious. I'm looking for longevity. Well, how long do you think? I said, I want somebody that's planning on being with us for years, not just short term. So I'm interviewing the people. That everyone that's in there, I've already interviewed personally. Right. Now, let's talk about one of the systems you use to manage your team. One of the systems I use to manage, <clears throat> to manage my team is Asana. The reason why I use Asana, not only was one of the gentlemen who were on the um, directors for creating uh, Facebook, Okay, what is that Asana, A-S-A-N-A, -A -A, Asana.com. That's A-S-A-N-A.com. Right. So what I'm expressing is that not only is Asana developed by some of the people that are on the team of Facebook, one of the things I like about Asana is that 
when, and I really wish I had more time to get into marketing, my concept and belief in how, where we're at and where it's going, because it's really, really deep. But one thing I want to express is that the email is, is fading in the way in which we work with email, and text messaging is growing and is increasing where email is going down. And then you take Dropbox, which is very well, and people like using them, and Google Docs, which is very well, but those are th like four different platforms. What Asana does is bring all those platforms together. So what I do is I'll create, let's say a property comes through from my team. Let's say that property is called 123 Main Street. Someone will go into Asana, create a property called 123 Main Street, and instantly say what we need to get done in this for here is comps. And we'll e put the person's email address in there. That person will get an email that says, you've been invited to the team 123 Main Street to close. They'll log in and say, oh, what is this? And just show us, my team in there. We need comps for this. They said, oh, okay, they can take the comps, upload the comps, and communicate as though we're doing text messaging. So we, all the messages you would communicate via text are all in one place. Not how your text messages get lost on your phone, you mm -hmm. can't figure out where, well, yeah. who said? It's all in one place associated to this one property. The emails you would use, how you know how to get lost and you try to find emails and so forth, it's not your fault. It just is the way things are in our lives, right? Right. So now this way put all your email at the one particular place which you want to have associated with that property. When you go, you got your Dropbox folder and you got all these pictures and you want to find out which one. I send another link, hey, we need pictures to this account. So I send somebody out, go take pictures, and when you upload it, upload it to where? Upload it to Asana. So now as the owner, I get to sit back and look at the comps. Look at the pictures, look at the communication messages, and send everything down to close. Do you follow me in this right here? So this was something that fits the current lifestyle of the everyday investor for me and for what my team uses. Now, show them the yellow letter. So what we also have is for every marketing campaign, remember the same team that I, I show you who do the work for me for 6,000 hours? I say, I, I tell them, at the end of the day in business, you must add value to the business that you're in. If you don't add value, you will be replaced. So what do they do? They went and create a database for each type of marketing that we have. So when every lead that comes in from 70 calls, they go into this database right here, whatever they are. Then, naturally, I had them put up my addresses in here because there are a lot of savvy investors with smartphones. But everything goes in here, and then we, in turn, check it off. Every, I tell them you have two, two, and two. You got two days to get either yes or no on the property. Otherwise, somebody's in trouble. Somebody's in deep doo-doo. When somebody calls in two days to know is that a deal or is it not a deal. It doesn't just sit there and get stagnant. We have to figure it out. And then from there, if it does seem like, okay, everything seems like it's something that can work, then it goes to a sauna. And then we work it out from there. Any questions about that? Yes. This is a custom platform. The person who does the data mining just went into uh, the website and just designed that right there. Basically, it's like a Google Docs, but we just keep everything in one place. Because when you're doing these leads, and you have, like I said, I had 70 calls come in on Friday. 70 calls. And when I was doing it by myself, this is how more money doesn't make you more successful. All it means is you get to where you're going a lot quicker. And it could be over a cliff. <laughs> Listen to me on this, and this is true. So, at the end of the day, having 70 leads come in, 70 calls, if you're not prepared, you will do no deals. You ain't kidding. You will do, because you'll get so, a confused mind, what do you say, Charles? Confused mind doesn't make a decision. Exactly. So you have 70 calls come in, yes. you won't know where to go, or what to do. I'll give you an example. Client and um, Steve Clinchdale, he is in Detroit. Steve got 132 phone calls in two months. Not one deal. Exactly. Because and he blamed it on the leads. That's no. what people do. Like, the rule of investing number one, everything is whose fault. I love that. Everything yes. is whose fault. That's the key to success. Because if it's your fault, you can fix it. If it's somebody else's fault, you can't. You got to take ownership in this business. That's the key. Take ownership. So everything that comes in. So what we had to end up doing is bringing in all the leads so that we can keep a record and account and track of those leads right there. And then we in turn work them off. You got two days to figure out if it's good or not good. So the people, so all of these come in, I have to have the people there and the infrastructure and the systems to be able to handle it. Now, 
you guys that bought those packages, you're getting a boatload of leads from, ten, from, from Kenny's company who's going to send you leads. Don't say the leads aren't good because you can't close the deals. Oh, you know what that reminds me of? Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Yeah. Anybody see that movie? Yeah, when he got the leads. Yeah, they said the leads. Who are these leads? The leads ain't no good. Yeah. <laughs> the leads ain't. You ain't. You, anyone who's seen the movie know you can't fill it in. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you remember when he's... Okay, so anyway. Yeah. yeah. I need to call one of you guys because I yeah, can't close. Me. I got to close it. <laughs> no, you know, the joint venture with me to close it. Of course. Now okay. you can call me. That's yeah. what I need. Mean. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. 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 What's going on? That's man. A so the answer to your question, <laughs> if you give, did you finish your question first of all? So Rita, what do you well, do? yeah, I need I, I need a senior person who can close. If I if I can set up all of this and I've got the package and I can't close because I'm a newbie. Or not a good salesperson. When you're or contacting somebody that you I'll help. Trust. I'll join you. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Every uh, absolutely. Man. Absolutely. And, and just to realize that yeah. there's lots of joint venturing opportunities out there, but the key to joint venturing is you're getting the most qualified person that has the most strategies that's going to be able to execute okay. the deal. And so absolutely yes. And what we're talking team. about in that package, right. my team is going to work for you for an hour. So this, what you saw, those seven people are right. going to work in your business in this package for an hour. And they work, you know, for me for 12 hours a day, but I'm going to allow them to work for you an hour to get you pinpoint the zip code, and they're going to funnel some leads for you through the system that you're going to outline. Okay. Any other questions? Go ahead. What do you use to set up the Yellow Ladder campaign? Once the uh, VA does all they do, and what do you use to set up the Yellow Ladder campaign? You mean, do we use a service like Click2Mail, or do we yeah. use an actual well, person to do the direct mail? For me, I use direct mail myself. I have a young lady that I pay $20 per week for my direct mail, and I give her $150 off of each deal. But she's How much is she in the States? Huh? She's in the States. She's in the States. She's in Maryland. She's in Baltimore, actually. She's a, she's a stay-at-home housewife. House mom. How many is she writing? On average, on our yellow letters for our, what you call an absentee owner campaign, yeah. we're doing on average 375 a week. And she's doing that per week? Mm hmm $20? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you got realize, Katie got six people to do the work for $6 an hour, right, right, right. plus commission. We're talking about plus commission. Well, right. That's the whole key. You have to, yeah, you got the dollar amount, and the only reason why a person would take plus commission is if they get money, if they're making money. If you're going to pay somebody commission and you never do a deal, you're not going to get anybody. Also, that's the key. It was really important. Uh, when it, like I said, y'all just bear with me. If you, if I can meet with somebody afterwards, I can really go an entire day or two into this stuff here. Because believe me, it's but so the people in the mastermind meeting tomorrow, oh, you guys are going to get your head blown off really because we're going to go into deep detail. This stuff, what I'm saying with you, is really it's a, it's a whole. We're talking about business management. Okay. Yeah, that's that's funny because we we got we get yeah, a little we, late right oh, now. Yeah, that's right. The okay. other the other the other aspect as far as the other system, I use a completely different system to manage my team and my leads. Oh, well, that's another. So this is just that my team wanted they didn't right. want me to send y'all the uh, pictures of them working. So they said, hey, Kenny, can you send us some professional pictures of us? So I said, okay. So this right here is my manager right here, Rob, and this is the cool. This do you heard in the phone? And this right here is the team that we have that answer the other calls and so forth. So basically, what, one of these right here will answer the call, one will do the data mining and so forth. So that was the, I promised them I'd send them a professional picture. Exactly. Now, what we use to manage our workflow for all the leads that come in on the real estate business is Podio. I'm going to tell you guys about Podio. Podio is a beast. Podio manages Chucky by Yucky Houses. It manages We Place Tennis. It manages Maryland Best Rentals, um, and it manages um, uh, buy, we, we sell houses for buyers.com. It manages all four of those businesses through that one system. Is it a CRM truck? It's, just, it's, it's more than that, darling. And here's the key part about it. I've been using it for over 18 months, and it's free. So. That's the first part about it. You don't have to pay to use the features that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you exactly how you can set up a workflow. Now, here's the kind of workflow I'm talking about. 
when we get a call, my person pulls up a form that asks all the questions as a predefined script. They fill in all the blanks from that predefined script and it goes into a CRM database system that automatically sends out emails to my house people, my house buyers, to go and run and chase the lead down and call and follow up. It does this automatically. So if I have a house buyer that's handling five zip codes and the lead comes in, my outsourcer will contact that person by clicking a button in the contact management system and they will get a notification, you got a new lead in, please follow it through the system. And then that outsource, that person who's going to handle the leads will now go into the system and follow up, do comps and do everything. It does the whole nine yards. Here's what it saves you from doing. I don't no longer have, I have no need anymore to create a, a, a Google Docs or any of these things like that. Because everything that's built into the system does it. So I can go straight from a phone call into a database that sends out messages to my team to go do a comp, to go do this, go do that, go do this. And all of that is done using the free version of the system. It's not an app, it's actually a website, Podio.com. Yes, Podio does have an app, but you can actually do it on your phone. So does Asana, and it's free too. It actually has an app that you can do it on your phone. Now, all you're doing is creating workflows. And here's what the workflow would look like. You would get a workflow that says, person's name, person's address, the lead is a new lead, old lead, so on. So as the workflow is created by the person who's managing the deal, I get an email and let me know exactly where this deal is at. Okay, right now the actual deal is in review stage. Okay, we did a review, here's the actual comps. The deal right now is in um, going out to the actual property. Okay, we now we took the, prop property from the, the deal from the actual property and now we're going to the title company with the work. Title company has been sent to the title, work has been sent to the title company and now we, we're setting up everything for the closing. Closing is going to happen in three days later. All of that is set up automatically inside of Podio, so I get notification of every step of the process without doing any type of creating the thing or any type of other abstract work you need to do. All you're doing is filling in a form and it does everything automatically. That's what Podio is. So say I have a question because I've you know, used some other stuff. Right. without naming it but um, if you uh, say for example you upload your list of you know your absentee owner list or your probate list is it easy for you to just I don't know find that property in there or to find it yeah you know absolutely what I'm oh yeah yeah like I get it yeah the, the key part of podio is it can use keyword metrics okay. like you only want properties that's in 21216 that's at the contract stage or you only want properties at this area that's in the early negotiation stage. I can use keywords like that and only find properties based on specific keywords. Absolutely. The question is, does it have a dashboard? When you log into Podio, you see the exact view of everything that's going in for that business itself. You see all the calls that was communicated with your team. You see all the properties, with the date they came in and so on. You see everything. You have all your different um, um, business apps, or should I say your business management systems on top of Podio, because all you're doing is creating a workflow for each of your business. So if you have a tenant placement business, one of your workflow will be a tenant placement company. One will be buying houses. One will be selling houses. And you have three different workflows. You only need two workflows to start off with. The two workflows you need will be selling a house and buying houses. That's all you need to start off with your workflows. And what do I mean by a workflow? When a phone call comes in, you put the information in, and your business starts running on autopilot. That's what a workflow is, and that's what Podio will do for you. 
The key to what we're doing, the key to what you can do, the key to you really taking your business to that next level is not you doing everything, but hiring people that are smarter to you or smarter than you to do it for you. Right. That's the key.